Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be creating a Flutterby floral nail. I've got a clear tip that I'm going to be using. Um, if you are sculpting, then you're just going to need to sculpt out your clear base and then obviously work on top of that. So the uh, acrylic I'm using here is Glam and, no it's not Glamour Glitz, what am I about? It's Team Gorgeous Cream Soda. It's too early in the morning still. Oh my goodness. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to put this at the cuticle area and I'm going to blend it down, fade it down, blend it down, fade it down, you know, that, you know, one of those, either or. And I am going to do it sort of maybe just over halfway down the nail. So I want the, the tip of the nail, the free edge, I want that to stay clear so you can use any pink I just wanted to use a really nice nice a really nice <laughs> oh my goodness a really nice soft pink that wasn't too you know in your face these are beautiful marshmallow sprinkles it's a lovely iridescent glitter and I've got some rose gold butterflies both of these are of course available from nail sugar um, I wanted an iridescent glitter because um, I didn't want anything to uh, detract from the butterflies and the little dried flowers that I'm going to put on in a minute. So because I am pretty much out of shot here, I did cut out some of the footage because you couldn't see it anyway. So you can see I've just placed that glitter on in a kind of swoop. I don't know what you call it, like a wiggly line. So I followed the blend of the acrylic and I've just worked it down towards the free edge. I'm going to put only a few of these beautiful rose gold butterflies sort of on the top two thirds of the nail. I'm only going to put four on. Um, I didn't want too many, but you can, that one at the bottom, I wish I'd put that just a little bit further up. Right, so these are lovely, lovely dried flowers. You can get these from Nail Sugar as well. These ones weren't actually from Nail Sugar, but you can get them from Nail Sugar. And I'm going to be using these pale pink ones. These are lovely. So what I'm going to be doing is, I'm not going to use them as they are. I'm going to be pulling off some of the little stems. You just have to be really careful because some of the petals might come off the stems and you don't just want stems I'll show you because there's a couple loose in this little in this little box bit see this is what I want but they're ever so delicate um, compartment sorry in the compartment there was a couple of loose loose bits so if you just use your tweezers gently hold the flowers and then you can just pull the pull the bit oh whoops you can just pull off the bits that you want with your tweezers. So I'm just going to pull off several bits. They're so delicate oh, and they're beautiful. So when I'm done, I'm going to put what I don't need back in the box. I'm going to cover the free edge with a thin bit of clear acrylic. And then I'm just going to go ahead and place the little flower stems. I don't know what you call them on the clear free edge so I think that butterfly needs to be just a little bit further up but it's done now so I'm just going to cover them again in a little teeny tiny bit of clear acrylic just to make sure that when I cap it they're not going to move sometimes I find that even though I pick if I pick up too much glitter with a clear bead of acrylic, sometimes not all the bits of glitter are stuck to the nail, if that makes sense. So when I cap it, the glitter starts to move underneath, which I is it sometimes it's a little bit annoying. So I've just put a little bit of acrylic over the top just so that I know that they're not going to go anywhere. I don't want them to go. So I'm just going to cap the nail now in clear acrylic as I'm happy with everything. And once it has set, I will go ahead and file and buff it. So I've done that off camera. It looks so pretty already. <laughs> I'm so excited about this nail. Look how pretty it is. Broody broody. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and top coat the nail. Just you wait. <gasps> Ugh. 
look, 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 look. So we've got the soft pink of the acrylic, then beautiful rose gold butterflies, and then that iridescent glitter flows down the nail towards the dried flowers, and I just bloody love it. Anything that annoyed me was that little bit of glitter that was stuck on the top coat. I sometimes get little bits of glitter in my top coat because I don't clean the brush enough when I put them back in, which is a bit annoying. There we go, we get it off. We don't want that ruining the nail. Look how pretty that is. I think I spent a little bit too long trying to top coat it. <laughs> So that's going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. Um, your top coat might need 60, so just do check before you um, pop it in the lamp. But that is the finished nail. I hope you like it. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to comment on my giveaway video. Um, everyone that has commented on the video is in for a chance of winning a load of nail sugar goodies. Do consider subscribing. But you don't have to. But it would be nice. <laughs> and as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.